Okay guys, so today we're diving into an interesting topic, how to duplicate a website. So whether it's for backup, testing or analysis, duplicating a website can be incredibly useful. But remember, doing this with malicious intent is illegal and against copyright laws and you might end up in jail. So let's get started and let's do it the right way. Okay, so first, what is a duplicate website? Well, a duplicate website is essentially a copy of an existing site, including its appearance, layout, underlying code, and the content as well, obviously. Now, developers often duplicate websites for various legitimate reasons, like, for instance, to keep a backup just in case something goes wrong, or for geotargeting. So this is to create region-specific versions of your website, or for customization purposes, so basically using the structure of one site as a template for another. So this is going to save you a lot of time, obviously. Maybe for analysis purposes to study the elements and structure of a website. And the last reason could be simply for testing and development, just in case you want to add new features and test this in an environment before going live. So first, there are a few things you want to consider before duplicating a website. So keep this point in mind. So first is the intent. You need to know why you're duplicating the website, obviously, you know. And you, we also need some level of technical knowledge. So ensure that you have all the necessary skills and obviously consider the copyright law. So like mentioned at the start, understand the legal implications to avoid issues. Very good. So now let's consider a few methods that you can use to duplicate a website. So the first one is copying tools. So there are tools online designed to make duplicating a website super easy. And some popular ones include HG Trucks, Archivebox and Sciotex Web Copies, for example. So HG Trucks is one of our favorites. It's super easy to use. So let me show you how you can use that. Okay, so let's go ahead with this website I found it online here, Il David. Uh, it's an Italian restaurant based somewhere in Florence, I think, you know. And then you have the hero section. We have about us, uh, all the different meals you can order and the uh, booking form here at the bottom. Okay, and then all the reviews and footer section. So let me show you how you can copy this website very easily using HT Truck. So all you have to do is go to the website here, HT Truck, uh, look it up on Google. This is the one here, the first one on top. And all you have to do is basically download it. Okay, so I'll click on this link. And of course, don't worry, I'll leave the link in the description below. So you have to download the version that applies to you. It should normally be highlighted. As you can see, we're using Windows 11 here. So this is the one we need to download. So simply click on this and download it on your hard drive. Very good. And then run that file that you just downloaded. And this will bring you to that screen. Okay, so start a new project. So next. And then project name. So I can give it a name. So I'm going to put Bill David. Okay. And then project category, you can create a category if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave it as is. And right there, you can select the path where you want to save this. I'm just going to save this to my website. Okay, so I'll click next. And here we're going to add the URL, the website URL itself. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. As you can see, restaurantildavid.com. Okay, then next. And right here, leave everything the way it is for now. Okay, and then finish. And that's basically it. And now it's going to start downloading all the pages one by one and recreate them on your website. And they'll be stored directly on your hard drive. And there you go. As you can see, mirroring operation complete. So this is done. And now we can finalize this. And now let me show you what it looks like on our hard drive. And now if we go to our local disk C, remember we created this folder here, my website. Click on this. And this is basically the content of the website. And now to open your website, all you have to do is click on index.html and it will open up in your local web browser. And there you go. As you can see, this is loading absolutely fine directly in the Chrome browser. And as you can see, this is being fetched from the C drive. So our hard drive here, C, my web browser, David restaurant david.com index.html. So this is a local copy of the website. As you can see, everything is there exactly the same way we had it on the original website, except that at this stage, it is copied on our hard drive. Okay, now let's consider a second method by copying the source code via a Chrome extension. Very good, so back to our website here. If you right click anywhere on the website, you have inspect. If you click on this, you'll have access to the source code, which is right here. So this is all HTML code, this is CSS. And now you can basically download all of this directly on your hard drive. All you need to do is to add a Chrome extension, save all resources. That's what it's called. And it's also available for Firefox if you wanted to. So here I'm using Chrome. So this is the one I'm going to download. So I'm going to install this now and then I'll show you how this works. Very good. So as you can see now it is installed, but you cannot use it from here directly. What you need to do again is to right click on this, go to inspect and find the additional tabs here. And you have the resources saver. Click on that and there it is okay and now you can save all your resources 
and you're going to save this as a zip file on your hard drive save this and that's basically it now you have a full copy of the website on your hard drive and finally the third way is by using version control software so git is a popular version control system that can help manage and duplicate websites so you can use the command git clone and with this you can duplicate a whole repository so github's fork feature is also another way to create a copy of the repository to work on independently and now again i'd like to emphasize the consequences of illegal duplication now remember duplicating a website without permission can lead to serious consequences it can be considered copyright and trademark infringement and might damage your reputation and that's it for today's video if you found this helpful give us a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tech tips and tutorials so if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one